Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have a chat to you about dyslexia. Anyone be interested in having a dyslexic baby? What the hell kind of a question is that? World's first dyslexic sperm bank. Open today. Hello, good morning. What's brought you in today? Just a bit intrigued, actually. <laughs> Tell me, what do you know about dyslexia? I don't know, is that get jumbled up with writing? In that disability? You're kind of siphoned off and put in the, the special room. A lot of people think that people with dyslexia are stupid. I've heard that word used a lot. Given the choice, yeah. would you like your child to have dyslexia? No. I wouldn't kill it. I have a restaurant. Right. My head chef is dyslexic. OK. And there's certain things I just wouldn't give him to do at all. Only 3% of people see dyslexia as anything other than a disadvantage. But look at the people around this room. Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, inventor of the iPhone. Who's more of an icon for genius than Albert Einstein? We've got a whole catalogue here full of people who uh, are or were dyslexic, like Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone. Dyslexics have a difference in their brains that makes them literally see the world a bit differently. What a lot of good-looking ones. Love. I'm slightly jealous. <laughs> Did you know that 40% of self-made millionaires are dyslexic? Say that again. What? That's amazing. It hasn't held any of them back. And the value of these individuals and their contribution to all areas is just really yeah. encouraging. And all of these dynamic achievers need to be given up as positive examples. It does not need to be a barrier to achievement. If you were thinking about how most people see dyslexia, what, what words do you think people would use to describe them? Uh, at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But by the sounds of it, they're not. 